you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 25th thursday the solemnity of uh, the annunciation of the lord let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 in the sixth month the angel gabriel was sent by god to a town in galilee called nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was joseph of the house of david the virgin's name was mary and he came to her and said greetings favored one the lord is with you but she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found the favor with god and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him jesus he will be great and will be called the son of the most high and the lord god will give him to him the throne of his uh, the ancestor david He will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, "How can this be since I am a virgin?" The angel said to her, "The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the son of God, and now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son." and this is a six month for her who was said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with god then mary said here am i the servant of the lord let it be with me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends today's feast of the annunciation celebrates the incarnation of jesus according to the flesh and the role that mary played in salvation history as christ is in the new adam mary is understood as the new eve who answers eve sin with her own fidelity and thus makes possible the redemption of the human race for, from sin the temptation eve to eat from the tree in the garden the serpent deceived her with the diabolical lie that is at the heart of human sin that god is in complete competition with her that god is against her and not for her he makes her think that uh, god is withhold something good from her that she must take for herself she comes to think that god's interests are a revival to her own and that god's power diminishes her own power she comes to think that uh, god's interests are revealed to her own and that god's power diminishes her own power these lies are at the heart of uh, not just eve's sin but of uh, all human sin sin deceives us to think that god is our revival whose authority stands in the way of our flourishing it is a light that closes man off to god as a revival rival whose place in the world and our lives must be rejected or at least carefully limited lest his power diminish our freedom as the new eve mary shows the truth that opposes all those lies she knows that god is not her adversary but that the serpent is uh, and uh, she crushes his head the faithful daughter of israel she knows that a god is faithful and true she knows that a god is on her side and that rather than withholding the good from her god is the source of all good things through good through god she is full of grace and blessed among women by consenting to god's will for her she is not diminished but comes to the fullness of her being and realizes her full potential she truly becomes the mother of all the living of all who live in christ god's power 
does not steal her agency but amplifies it he is not in competition with her but as his power is manifest in her life she grows in the spiritual power of the holy spirit who lives and moves within her it is one of the great lies that god's power diminishes our humanity and that as god's power increases in our lives our own agency is destroyed this lie is evident in a world that views belief in god as an obstacle to human flourishing and a rival to human accomplished but it can even infect infect the mind of faithful and devout persons who implicitly and even implicitly see god as an adversary they view god as out to get them always trying to catch them in mistakes they think god is always trying to take away their fun and happiness preventing them from doing what they want and forcing them to do what they don't they are afraid that god's will is going to rob them for their dreams and change them into someone they don't want to be they are afraid that following god's will will diminish them and destroy their own agency and identity so to be fully human and to be fully ourselves we must follow the model given by mary not by eve whereas eve takes up for herself mary this is from god god allows god's power to enter herself allows the holy spirit to work within her this is a model that we can follow to allow god's power to enter our lives rather than to try to accept our own to learn to receive rather than to take our lives ourselves we are not in competition with the god his power is not the threat to our own but in his power we become fully human the people that we were made to be yes my dear friends the effects of our own receptivity of god's power in our life will be the same we will be saved and come to life and our lives will also show forth god's power and help to bring salvation to the world god is not our adversary the devil is do god's will and receive from him the power to crush the devil's head amen may god bless us happy feast day